G'day guys, it's Luke here from Tech Blokes and iOS 12.4 is officially available for the iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, etc. So with the release of iOS 12.4, Apple has given us a new migration process that is really quick and it's very intuitive and I want to show you how it works today. And you don't actually need to plug into a computer or do any kind of backup to iTunes. Basically you can take your old iPhone and migrate wirelessly to your new iPhone and copy all of your content, all of your pictures, your passwords, your logins, everything to the new iPhone. And it is very quick and it's much quicker even than an iCloud backup. Okay guys, so the first thing I wanna show you is I'm just gonna take a couple of quick pictures of some things sitting around here on my desk. So you can see that these pictures are now in my gallery on my phone and these are gonna transfer across to this new device without using iCloud backup or anything like that. So they're automatically gonna wirelessly transfer to this other iPhone 6 here. Now my logins, I've already logged into Instagram, as you can see, and I'm also logged into Facebook as well. So my passwords and my logins are gonna come across to the new phone as well. So that's really good, super handy. So the first thing I need to mention guys is both devices have to be running iOS 12.4. If you don't have that at the moment, just go into settings, general, and then software update, and you'll see that this device is now running iOS 12.4. The download took about half an hour to download and install on an iPhone 6, and uh, once you've done that, you are good to go. So what we wanna do is grab this iPhone here. It's completely fresh, there's no data on here at the moment, and we wanna set this up as a brand new device um, and copy all the data across. So I'm gonna click on English. So I'm gonna select my region. So what you wanna do is once you get to this screen here, you wanna grab the other iPhone and you're gonna see that you get a prompt from the lock screen. So it doesn't come up, just, just lock it and unlock it again. Click on unlock to continue. Scan your fingerprint and then hit continue again and it's going to ask you to scan this little blue code that's actually from iOS 11 but obviously we've got more functionality in iOS 12.4 so I'll scan that now okay now you're going to need to put in your password that you used on your original iPhone so that's really important so I'll pop that in okay you can see it's setting my Wi-Fi password automatically it's just transferring that from my old device so I click on next and now it's going to go through the process of activating my iPhone. Now we'll just mention the first time I did this, it did take about four or five goes to get it to activate. Don't worry too much if that happens to you. If you get the prompt, just click on try again and it will eventually um, authenticate and activate your iPhone. All right, once you are activated, it's going to ask you to set up touch ID. I'm going to skip that for now and it's gonna bring you to this screen here. So transfer data from Luke's iPhone. You can see nothing has actually happened on my original iPhone. I'm just on this screen here. What I will mention is my original iPhone has got about 100 gigabytes worth of data on it. So photos and messages, etc. And I wanna see how long that's gonna to take to transfer everything across. What it does say on this screen here is it's gonna take roughly 40 to 50 minutes. So that's actually pretty good to transfer nearly 100 gig worth of data. Um, over Wi-Fi. So I'll click on start transfer. What I will tell you is do not click other options. It's gonna take you out of this screen and you can't get back to it. So don't do that. <laughs> Just hit the, uh, the start transfer button and you'll be good to go. So let's do that now. All right guys, once you have activated the phone through your Apple ID, you'll need to hit agree and just go continue, disable. I never use that one. And I just want to skip the pay, Apple Pay. I don't want to use iCloud Keychain. I just want to show you the process. I don't want to set up Siri. I don't want to share analytics. So you can see now my original iPhone has gone to like a lock screen and it's starting the transfer of data. Like I said, there's about 100 gig worth of data that needs to transfer. It's currently 1242. It said it's going to take roughly 40 minutes. So I'm gonna come back in about 10 minutes and check how things are going. 
but it should be done by about 20 past one. Again, that's pretty good. For 100 gig of data, that's actually quite quick. So guys, I'll pause the video and I'll come back and we'll see where we're at. Alrighty guys, so it's currently 1.43, so the iPhone has still got about 20 minutes to go to transfer that 100 gig of data from one iPhone to the other. So that is a little bit longer than what Apple actually said at the beginning of the process, but still to transfer that much data in, you know, basically an hour is really good in my opinion. So what we're gonna do, I'll pause the video again and we'll come back shortly once this has finished doing its thing. Alrighty guys, there we go. You can see that the new iPhone is downloading all of the apps and everything in the same location as my previous iPhone 6. Uh, the layout's the same on both, which is great. And all of the logins and passwords have passed across to this new iPhone. So in the Photos app, if, if you remember, I took a few photos before we started the video. You can see in the camera roll that they have come through. So exactly the same as what we had on the iPhone 6 here. So the whole process is really smooth. Again, I did 100 gig there, basically in about an hour and a half. So guys, if you like this video, please leave a comment, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, let me know what iPhone are you swapping across to? Will you be using this new feature in iOS um, 12.4? And are you excited for iOS 13? I'm trying out iOS 13 on my iPhone SE and I actually really love it. There's some really cool new functionality. Check out some of my other videos if you want to see more content on iOS 13. So guys, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.